I'm Shanna. And I'm Gabby. And we are 27 Travels. And right now we are coming at y'all from Fort Worth, Texas. <laughs> It's our second time in the state of Texas, but it's our first time in the Fort Worth area and we are loving it so far. We're so excited. We've been dying to come here and right now we're staying in the Stockyard area and it's so cool. It's complete Western vibes. It basically feels like we're in the like old West. Like I can't, not even kidding. We're actually working with Visit Fort Worth on this trip. They found a lot of really fun and cool things for us to do that we just can't miss while we're in Fort Worth and we're gonna show you all of it. All right, so I'm gonna tell y'all some really cool facts that we found out about Fort Worth that we think are super interesting. So the first is that Fort Worth is actually the 16th largest city in the United States. The next fact is that 60% of America's paper money is actually made here in Fort Worth at the US Bureau of Engraving. That is crazy to me that like, like majority of America's money is printed here in Fort Worth. The next fact is super cool. The Stockyards, which is where Gabby and I are right now, was actually one of Bonnie and Clyde's hideouts back in the day. <laughs> That's so crazy. So the last fact that I'm gonna share with y'all is that Fort Worth actually ranks really high on the Municipal Equality Index, which basically means how a certain city supports its local LGBTQ people. Fort Worth was also one of the first major cities in Texas to establish a human rights commission, which is also super amazing. So far, as a lesbian couple, Gabby and I are feeling super welcome here. Okay, so we just got off the plane and our first stop is this place called Taco Heads. Apparently it started out as a food truck, but it was so popular that it became like an actual like brick and mortar store. And we're at their second location right now and the food looks really, really good. So excited. We're starving because obviously when you just get off the plane, yes. you're so hungry. <laughs> so let's eat. Everything is bigger in Texas, clearly. <laughs> This is the biggest iced tea I've ever seen in my whole life. Okay, so we got like a bunch of different things. We got like some two veggie tacos, some salsa, and guac. And I think we ordered it on the chips. Whoops, on that. Yeah, I also <laughs> think they might have brought the same chips like twice, technically, yes. but whatever. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna try one of these tacos now, but it looks really good. Yeah. So we have made it to our hotel and I literally think this is the nicest hotel we have ever stayed in. Yeah, it's for sure one of the coolest hotels we've ever been to. The room is massive and it's gorgeous. Like every inch of the property is like curated. Like I don't even know how to explain it. There's like neon lights in some of the hallways, photos everywhere. It just feels like we're in the wild, wild west in a barn somewhere and it's awesome. Yeah, and the and the like pieces that they have in the room are like really like stylish and cool. It's like cool western, not like tacky western. Yeah, it's awesome. Dream western. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but since we are working with Visit Fort Worth for this video, they actually left us a little welcome package and we didn't open it yet, so we're gonna open it right now. Let's go do it. Let's open this up. Let's see what's in here. It says Gabby and Shanna. That's us. Ooh, we have Texas trash. Ooh, what is that? <laughs> That's so fun. What it is seems that? like a trail mix, but it looks delicious. Yum, Texas trash. Texas trash. Oh, it's a little cattle stuffed animal. Oh, we're gonna give us a rascal when we go home. Shanna, name him. Oh, I don't know. Moo Moo. <laughs> Moo Moo. Hi, Moo Moo. But so um, cute. This area that we're staying in in Fort Worth is actually known as Cowtown, and I think we'll have to explain that to you just a little bit later, but that's probably why there's this little cattle in my bag. So cute. It. I'm gonna cuddle with you tonight. <laughs> We got a super cool bandana. Ooh, I love that. Um, we got a cool little koozie, some Fort Worth pens, which have little, oh my God, you can see they have the little cattle. Hold on, yeah. They have a little cattle drive on it. That's what we've been explaining to you. And we have a cute little keychain and some sunglasses. So yeah. can't go wrong. Thank you, Visit Fort Worth. Let's do this. <laughs> Every day at 11.30 and 4 p.m. they have something here called the cattle drive and we're not entirely sure what it is yet because we haven't seen it yet but it's happening right now. We also saw a bunch of people going by on horses which is really cool and they were saying that it's actually like professional cowboys and cowgirls with their horses. just finished 
watching the cattle drive. It was actually really interesting. Like I was a little bit worried that it would be like a little bit like, I don't know, kind of like you're watching like a rodeo or something, but really the cattle just literally like walk <laughs> down the street and they're like really calm and they're like being like protected by like trained cowboys, like literal cowboys who like know how to like calm them down and like protect them and stuff. So I thought that was really, really cool. Yeah, and they don't go super far. So it's like, it's like a block or two, but it's really like not super long. So it doesn't feel like the animals are like doing anything that they don't want to do. It felt like they're doing this in a really, really good way. And we actually learned that it is the world's only cattle drive left. So definitely something to come and see if you're here. I mean, I think both of us thought it was actually a really cool experience and it's so cool seeing them that like up and close, like they're so huge. And the road that we're on right now is currently made out of brick, but it used to just be a dirt path back in the day. Yeah, they were saying basically you didn't want to be the cowboy at the end because you would just be getting like dust kicked up in your face <laughs> and you'd have to like wear a bandana just to protect like your mouth and eyes and stuff. So super interesting, definitely recommend doing this. It feels to me like you're like part playing a little part in history. Like you can kind of imagine like what it used to be like. <laughs> so you can kind of tell, but this is one of the older buildings that we've been walking around in. They used to actually keep the sheep here, and you can kind of tell that it was like set up to be like that kind of barn, yard Stock situation, yard. stockyard situation. And now there's like all kinds of shopping and restaurants and stuff here. And right now we're outside at the Stockyard Hotel and this is apparently the hotel where notoriously Bonnie and Clyde hid out for a while. So it's still operating. I don't <laughs> think it was a hotel back then, but it is a hotel now. So you can go and stay where Bonnie and Clyde hid out. How cool is that? <laughs> Howdy everybody. Good morning. So it is the next day now in Fort Worth and we are doing something today that both of us have never done before. We are going kayaking. <laughs> well, technically I've kayaked one time before, but it was the shortest lived experience and my brother and I fell off of the kayak. So <laughs> I don't have the best track record with kayaking. So it's really gonna be exciting. So we are going to be kayaking on the Trinity River, which is here in Fort Worth. And since I've never been kayaking before and Gabby literally only went like one time, I've never done it together. Um, it should be an experience. I'm definitely gonna bring my GoPro. So hopefully um, nothing crazy happens cause like we don't wanna be like too wet, but. I'm excited, but I'm also really hoping that we do not fall off of the kayak and that we are just like steady. We can do this, <laughs> teamwork. We got this. Got this. So I think what we're gonna try and do is we have a little bit of time and there's supposed to be like a really good coffee place like right outside of our hotel called Avoca Coffee Roaster. So we're gonna hopefully try that and try and try that out before we go kayaking. Yeah, we need a little bit of a coffee. All right, Gabby got a bourbon scotch latte. It was like a seasonal thing and I swear that there's no alcohol in it. It's just more like the flavoring. So I'm gonna taste it. It's really good. <laughs> that is good coffee, and we have not had coffee in a few days, so. Delicious. So, yummy. Okay, so we just got on our kayak. Look at us. I'm doing, I'm doing a lot of the work right now. We were told that the person in the back does a little bit more of the work and steering, so we put Shanna back there because we all know that I'm less athletic and get a slight, slightly stressed. <laughs> stressed, Don't very worry, stressed. Gabby, I'll try not to let us fall over. Oh, but this is pretty cool. Look at us. Shanna's doing all of the work. And we're going the wrong way, Shanna. I'm trying. I feel like I'm supposed to help you. You probably are supposed to help me, but. Oh, here we go. Look how pretty. Yeah, it's nice. I'm paddling now. I figured it out. She did it. See? I have a good teacher. So you can do card important. things. Preston's been teaching us. Preston's been teaching I'm us. I'm <laughs> teacher, so now I'm able to do this. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so we just finished up the kayaking tour and that was amazing. I absolutely loved it. It was such a cool experience. Like the guy that took us out, Preston, was so nice. And I, like, as we said, we've never kayaked before and it was just such a cool experience. We felt like we were able to do it and that we like kayaking now. So yes. it was so nice. We went under some like little bridges and stuff and it was just really relaxing. So now we're in a different area of Fort Worth called the Foundry District and there seems to be like a lot of street art and kind of stuff like that here. So we're gonna go walk around and check it out. So right now we are at Inspiration Alley and it is so cool here. This is apparently one of Texas's only permanent like outdoor art galleries and it features all work from like local artists. So it's awesome and we're gonna go check it out right now. our food really quick even though it was really good because we're running to our next thing which we are so excited about we are going to the world's biggest honky tonk and doing line dancing lessons and we're really excited because we've actually never really been to a honky tonk before like ever and we've never line danced so we're gonna learn tonight and we're gonna go on a little line dancing date <laughs> a little drink at this place right behind us called Side Saddle Saloon. It's actually LGBTQ owned and the cocktails were amazing. Yeah, basically they make all of these amazing craft cocktails. What's really cool also is the bar is themed after like cowgirls. So it's like all cowgirls and like famous old cowgirls, right? Yeah, and all the drinks are actually named after famous cowgirls, which is really, really cool. Also line dancing, we tried to film a little bit, but it was really hard because we were actually like taking the lesson to do it. So it was like actually hard to like film us doing it. But like, I thought it was like really cool, really interesting, and I had such an amazing time doing it. Yeah, it was so fun. I actually was impressed that I was able to remember any of the dance because I'm so bad at learning like <laughs> choreographed dance, but I was doing it next to Shanna and I remember a little bit and everything. I could probably show you the dance, but Shanna would do it better. You wanna do a little bit of it? It was a little like this, right? There was I music, keep in mind. Yeah. So like... There you go, you're doing it. <laughs> I, mean, I forgot the I think that's that, that's good enough. <laughs> what I thought that was really cool about the line dancing and just like um, B Billy Bob's Honky Tonk in general is that like everyone was dancing there. Like everyone was like getting up and dancing and people were doing line dancing. But also there were like couples doing like this like other like circular kind of like coupley dance with like around the people line dancing. Yeah, like around the floor so that the line dancers in the middle yeah. could just continue to line dance, which was really, really cool and like so fun to watch. We yeah. were just like sitting at a table watching them at some point. Yeah, it was like really cool. I, I, I feel like if you're from Texas, you probably like know what we're talking about, but because we're from New York, we've never seen that before, so it was like really interesting. Yeah. And there was live music, like amazing. Oh, also one more thing. They actually said that they do like free line dancing lessons every Thursday at seven o'clock, which is what we just did. So if you go at a Thursday at seven o'clock, you can actually go do the same thing that we did, and it was really cool. So it's the next day now, and sadly, we have to check out of Hotel Drover today. We're actually so sad about it. This was like the best hotel ever. Literally. We were like, we kind of want to like hold up in this room like Bonnie and Clyde and not leave. <laughs> <laughs> so this hotel is amazing. If you ever got the opportunity to stay here when you're coming to Fort Worth, you definitely should. We've had the absolute best experience here and it's just like the, the whole vibe of the hotel is just amazing and that's really why we don't want to leave because like the room is gorgeous. It's so nice. Like the lobby, the pool, the outside area, like everything is amazing. Yeah, it's insane. It's like <clears throat> so gorgeous in here and you're also in such a cool area which mm -hmm. is the stockyards. Like you can walk around. So many things are nearby like nightlife, things to do during the day. It's just so convenient and so amazing. So now we're actually switching hotels. We're going to more of like, I guess, the downtown area of Fort Worth and we're switching to a different hotel. And then we're also doing some other fun stuff today as well. So we'll keep you posted on what we do. 
Okay, so we have made it to our next hotel. We are actually staying at the Sinclair for this one night. And it's a really cool vibe. It has like a, like a 1920s kind of like speakeasy kind of vibe to this hotel. So the woman at the front desk was actually telling us that this whole area like used to be where cattlemen would come and trade. So there were a lot of like bars and places for them to go to. So it still has that kind of atmosphere just like in this general area of the city. But it definitely feels like being in this hotel way more like city. Yeah. Like we have like a nice view. We're on a higher floor. And it seems like there's a lot of like shops and restaurants nearby to go and experience. So I think our first step is gonna be um, getting some coffee or some breakfast and then we're gonna go to this like really famous store in Fort Worth called Justin's Boots and we're supposed to have like a nice little like shopping experience and we might even get a pair of boots there. Maybe we'll get our first real pair of cowboy boots today. <laughs> <laughs> okay so welcome to our room. This is like the front area. It's really big in here. There's like this, this is huge, an apartment. <laughs> it's basically an apartment. There's this huge couch and a TV and a little work area. We've never actually had a room with a full-on couch, so yes. that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, then you walk in here, and this is kind of like the bedroom area with like a nice TV. You can see it looks very comfy. And then we have a super cute little bathroom situation. And yes. you can kind of see if you look outside. I don't think you can see in this room. We have a nice view. Yes, well, we're gonna try and go to the rooftop later, so we're gonna definitely show you the view. Yeah, so then there. we'll show you the view. Okay, so we are here at the Justin Boots Outlet Store, and we are about to go get our first, like, real pair of cowboy boots, at least for me. Justin's is actually the oldest boot brand. It's 142 years old, which is so crazy. Their headquarters are actually located here in Fort Worth, and we're gonna go inside right now and try some boots on. How beautiful brand these are. New. So this is the Reba line and they're brand new and you can see it says Reba on the bottom. <laughs> How cool Oh is my that? god, these just feel so nice. They're such good quality, you can tell. Alright Gabby, what do you think about your first pair? They're amazing. Oh, I'm obsessed with them. I'm gonna wear them everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I already have a pair, but I got them on Etsy like a long time ago. So these are like the real deal. <laughs> I think these ones that you got are so much nicer than the pair you used to have, honestly. And they're different. So. They're so different. I feel like they'd be cute with everything. Okay, so now we came to this area called Magnolia Village and it seems to be like there's like a lot of shops and restaurants here. We already saw some cool street arts. We're gonna go walk around and explore. In our cowboy boots, of course. Yes. Because we're wearing them. <laughs> we're not taking these off. No, they're staying on. <laughs> Okay, so while we've been walking around Fort Worth like the last few days, we kept we kept seeing things that was like called like Panther City, like that was like a nickname for the town. So we're like, hmm, why is it called that? So we just went into that store and they had a lot of stuff that said Panther City. So I just asked the uh, woman who was working behind the counter, I was like, I have a really weird question, like why is it called Panther City? And she basically told us that the reason is because back in the day, Fort Worth had a really bad like economical crisis. So everyone had to move to Dallas and then the people of Dallas were kind of like making fun of Fort Worth, like, oh, you know, Fort Worth is so dead. Like, like a panther could be walking in the city and no one would notice. <laughs> so now they kind of like adapted it as their own, which I think is really cool. Yeah, it's so funny. And it's cool that they adapted it as kind of a thing because you'll notice when you're here, there's so many things that are named like Panther City, like Panther City Vinyl Records, Panther City this, Panthers on shirts. She was even saying that there's sculptures of panthers at some government buildings when you're looking around that you can actually see. So pretty cool. We're going someplace for lunch that I think I've been the most excited to come try in Fort Worth. It's called Spiral Diner and it's an all vegan diner. And it was on our itinerary and so many people on Instagram messaged us and told us that we have to come here. It's so good and they knew that we would love it. So I can't wait to try it. We heard they even have vegan milkshakes, which I am definitely <laughs> getting. So our first order, we ordered vegan mac and cheese, and I've got to warn you, we ordered a lot of food because it's <laughs> rare that we get to get all vegan food for everything. We ordered a milkshake, we ordered a meal, and we ordered this little mac and cheese appetizer to try, and it looks so good. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. You want to try some? Yeah. Friends in the camera, do you want to try some vegan mac and cheese? <laughs> oh, look at that mac. Look at that cheesy. So we went a little crazy and we had to get a vegan milkshake because 
We can never ever get one of these. I'm so freaking excited. This is like the most romantic date. Shannon and I sharing a milkshake and eating mac and cheese that's all vegan. We're in heaven. All right, try it and let me know what you think because you're the one who still eats dairy. So yes. You compare it. And I love ice cream and I love milkshake, so I will know. Amazing. We got a cookie butter milkshake and it tastes so good. of the St. Clair Hotel and it is awesome up here. There are amazing views. There's even a bar up here so you can sit down, relax and have a drink and it is like so cute up here. Yeah, this is one of the best rooftop views I think I've seen in a long time. Yeah, <laughs> it's a really good rooftop view. You can like kind of see everything from here which is really cool because we've obviously been exploring Fort Worth so we can see a lot of the places that we've been going to. Yeah, it's, I feel like Texas is very flat so you can kind of see like so far like in, in the distance. Like you can see all the way out there which is crazy and there's not a lot of tall buildings blocking the view like in New York City. Okay, so for dinner tonight, on our last night here in Fort Worth, we came to Mariachi's Dine-In, which literally all of you recommended for us to go to, so I'm so excited to try it. They have an entire vegan menu, so obviously we ordered a few things off the vegan menu, and we started off with some frozen marks. How <laughs> good does that frozen mark look? look? It's crazy. Cheers! Appetizer, we got vegan elote, which we both have never had before because it's really hard to make it vegan, but this yeah. place had it. At least we've never had it vegan. I've had it not vegan before. Mm. Is it good? It's so good. It's like corn that's like seasoned with like Mexican like cream, I think, and like hot sauce. It's really, really good. So this is the end of our Fort Worth video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We had so much fun here and I feel like we really got to see the real side of Texas. Yeah, we finally feel like we did a lot of like Southern things where we like saw a honky tonk, we saw cattle, we got we, cowboy boots. We did really line cool. dancing. Yeah, I'm never gonna forget my line dancing moves. That is for sure. <laughs> and we also had some amazing vegan food, which I was completely shocked about. Like, I did not expect Texas to have such amazing vegan food. We also felt super welcomed here in Fort Worth, which is an amazing experience to have, especially in Texas, which isn't always known for being the most welcoming in terms of the LGBTQ community. Yeah, we saw lots of pride flags, lots of LGBTQ owned businesses, and lots of places that had, you know, like pride flags in the window where we're just like openly supportive, which we really loved. So that is the end of our video. Video. Hopefully you all enjoyed watching it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you soon with another video. Bye. Bye. Look at this view. Yeehaw.